Hey, good evening. Welcome back to another week. Um, today's lesson is over magnetism. Um, and I wrote this as a fourth grade lesson. Um, I was surprised that whenever I went to look to see if there was any magnetism based lessons in like any of the other uh, PA keys grades, the only the first time they mentioned like magnets or magnetism was actually fourth grade. So fourth grade lesson. Here we go. Um, so I wrote this as a Marimetric Group lesson with uh, stations, rotations, stuff like that. So um, thinking that there's probably um, 20 to like 25 students in a class, something like that. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get into it. All right, everyone. Today we have a fun lesson planned. So we are going to go over the topic of magnetism. But before we get into it, our I can statement for the day is I can describe how magnets work. So as I'm sitting here, I'm messing around with these magnets. And I wanted to ask you guys a few questions just to get our brains flowing before we, we get into the fun stuff. So what can anyone tell me about with magnets? Have you ever played with magnets before? Yeah. All right. You saw it on a fridge. Yeah, cool. So most of us have played with some form of magnets. But before we get into it, do you have a guess or a hypothesis on why certain objects stick to each other and certain objects do not? So I'm hearing something about metals, but I'm also hearing not a lot of like a little bit of confusion too. That's good. We're going to explore that today. So um, we're going to do a few experiments. Um, so what we're going to do is each table is going to be a different station. And so each group and each group will rotate between two, all the stations. So I want somebody from each group who is going to be willing to bring their notebook and record your thoughts for each station. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go over the stations with you all. And then when I say go, you guys are uh, going to start on the station that you are at currently. And then each station, you're going to have four minutes. And then after the four minutes, you are going to rotate uh, clockwise around the room. Are we clear? Cool. So at station one, we're going to explore about what type of materials magnets attract. Uh, station two, we're going to explore how magnets interact with each other. At station three, we will test if all magnets have the same strength. Station four, we are going to test if distance affects the strength of the magnetic force. And station five, we will see if having an object in the way of, of the uh, magnet will stop the magnetic force. All right, so I'm going to come around and I'm going to put uh, a bag for each of your stations on the table. And when I say go, you're going to go. Cool. Alright everyone, now that everyone is back at your original table, let's go over your thoughts. It's been 15-20 minutes, you've been messing around with magnets, so what are your thoughts? Your group is going, just for the, the sake of getting through everything, your group will only present the thoughts on the station that you are currently sitting at. And then as you, um, and at once each group is done presenting, Guys, if you have any more thoughts on what they've said, go ahead and raise your hand and we can add it. So as we're discussing this, I'm going to add all your thoughts to the board. <sighs> all right, class. Now that we have gone through quite a few things, let's dive into this. So to begin, let's, let's think about a working definition of what a magnet is. So a working definition is a rock or a piece of metal that can pull certain types of metal towards itself. So, clear? Can you guys see how that works? Obviously we got a magnet is a metal, this magnet's a metal, and we go whoop! <laughs> and it pulls certain metals towards itself. Yeah. Secondly, um, let's talk a little bit about station four. So station four um, obviously dealt with how distance affects how a magnet can pull something towards itself, you know? So as you, as you saw, as you started to pull the object away from each, from the magnet, the force on it seemed less. So after a little while, if you like, were holding the magnet and you like, 
you let it go, it would just stay there. But say you're holding the um, the uh, mag the thing closer, you and let it go, it would immediately attract it to the magnet, right? Yeah. So you notice something there um, about like there's like this force that's there, and that at a certain point it disappears. Yes. So there is actually a scientific term for this, and it's called a magnetic field. So a, a good definition is it's the area around a magnet that has a magnetic force. So now we're going to actually watch two videos. I know today is a video day. So this first one is going to explain magnetism a little bit more. And then the second one is going to introduce the last activity. So now that we understand magnetic fields a little bit more, we're going to apply our knowledge of magnets and magnetic fields by making DIY compasses. So as, as we saw in this video, the Earth is a giant magnet, which our compass takes advantage of by always pointing north. You see? So there is like a tiny... So if our Earth is a giant magnet, and there's always one point where everything is attracted to, our compass is another magnet. It's always pointing towards the North Pole. Yeah? So we can use that and make our own little DIY compasses. So we're going to watch this video, and this is going to explain how we're going to make it. And, um, yeah. Alright guys, now that this video is done, let's get into this. I, as we, the video is going on, I obviously placed a glass of water and a needle. So take the magnet on the ta on your table and go ahead and rub that needle. Make sure you stroke it in the same way every time, because otherwise it won't get charged properly. And then um, after you've done this for a few seconds or a minute, I'm going to say stop. You're going to put your needle down and grab a piece of paper. Um, you're going to float the little piece of paper on the water, and then you're going to stick the needle on it. We're going to see if your uh, little compass will actually point north. Yeah? Cool. Alright, guys. I promised you that we were having a fun day. You guys having fun? Yeah? Well, to wrap up today's lesson, I uh, want you guys to write out two definitions for me in your notebook. So, magnet and magnetic force. And then, I want you to give me your best drawing of what a magnet looks like when it's attracting or repelling another magnetic object. Be clear? So two definitions and a couple of drawings. One being what a magnet looks like when it's attracting something and another being when it's, uh, a magnet is repelling against another magnetic object. Clear? Awesome. You guys are, did great today. I'm gonna come around and grab all the objects. <laughs> 